Hello everyone and welcome to the part 4. Uh, before we start, I wonder if maybe you could go and uh, get this character. It's a free character from Paragon series, it's called Terra and it's on uh, Unreal Engine Marketplace. And basically we will be using the channeling uh, or maybe hit the ground animation from this character. So if you want to, you know, mimic what I have on my screen, then it might be worth just uh, getting this uh, character. If not, maybe you just want to understand the process a little bit better to use for your own characters, then it's fine. Just, you know, watch along and uh, I hope you'll be able to learn something new. Okay, so this is where we end up uh, um, in the previous part. So we got two characters and one is firing a projectile at another. You also can see there is some animation uh, playing, there is a hit and idle animation on uh, both of them. Um, so let me show what I've got uh, with the character buff set up. So I've got a scene, there are some props as well. And I'm gonna replace the character with the one I've made and the one that we'll be making in this uh, tutorial. Um, so basically this is a uh, Terra. I'm gonna press the button and we're gonna get this essentially. So I think it might be like a, a channeling spell or a hit the ground um, spell as well. Okay so we won't be making the VFX. I think uh, this VFX will be available for patrons um, for February month. Um, but let's maybe go and create uh, the scene and this blueprint uh, with the animation and animation montage as well, okay? So I'm gonna duplicate uh, the scene with the two characters. I'm gonna call it Bath Tutorial. I'm gonna open it and let me uh, duplicate our player blueprint as well. I'm gonna call it bath tutorial as well and I'm just gonna replace it in here uh, in the world settings I'm gonna replace the default default pawn class okay um, okay so we got this so we don't need this character so let's get rid of it um, also I'm gonna drag this blueprint to the scene I'm gonna zero X and Y location and I'm just gonna open it. So by selecting, by having this selected in the scene, you've got the camera preview. So I'm gonna select this camera. And I've got another camera here, and this is only for the screenshot uh, stuff that I take. So this one is deactivated uh, right here. And if I just wanna switch between them, I, you know, take uh, this one on and turn off the other one uh, so let's focus on the main camera I'm just gonna get it in the scene I'm gonna switch uh, to the world uh, space in here and I'm just gonna zero X and Y position I'm now gonna rotate it minus 90 on the Z axis to maybe something like uh, this. I'm going to select the skeletal mesh as well and I'm going to replace it with Terra. So I'm going to type Terra and I'm going to pick the default skin. I'm just going to adjust the camera just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the skeletal mesh now. Click on this magnifying glass and then go back a folder into the animation. I'm gonna pick an idol. I'm just gonna plug it in here. Okay, so now let's create a, a montage. So I went through all those animations and I think the one that we wanna work with will be our intro. So if you double click on it, you can see it's uh, this sort of a ground hit effect but I want to turn it into a channeling spell instead 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna right click on this uh, animation file and create anim montage. And I'm gonna call it buff tutorial. I'm gonna open it, click on this bar, magnifying glass, so I'm gonna, it's gonna navigate to the intro because I'll be dragging this a few times, okay? Right, so we've got this animation and I want this animation to stop around here. So as you can see here, it's 0.45, okay? So I'm gonna say uh, that this animation needs to end at 0.45. I'm gonna drag this intro here and I wanna state here that it needs to start from 0.45. So we got this essentially. So this, it will be our channeling. So I wanna end it at 0.65, let's say. So 0.65. And I'm gonna drag intro again. Just when you drag in it, make sure you drag into this default group section okay mm, so we ended this one at 0.65 so this one needs to start at 0.65 okay but now we can uh, manipulate the play rate here so i'm gonna put it like 0.1 so you can see it's good. the character is gonna go down gonna channel the spell and then goes up so i'm gonna leave it at 0.1 and I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna go back to this uh, blueprint now. I'm gonna go to the event graph and delete everything from here. I'm gonna zoom in so we can see a little bit better. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna look for play animation on the skeletal mesh. And in here, I'm gonna type buff tutorial and seems like it can't find the file so I'm just gonna find it manually here and drag it over cool so after this I want to go back to the uh, our idol so I'm gonna add delay and then play animation again um, let me select an idol animation which is here gonna drag it here okay so what's our delay so we can figure out delay by going into our montage go into the last frame and you can see it's 3.57 so I'm gonna just type 3.5 so now let's see if that works Whoops, let me delete a blueprint that we dragged into the scene because we already got player start. I press Z. And we got this. So you see there is a snap at the end of this animation. And that's because we've got the blend out time selected here, okay? And it's got 0.25 uh, value. So zero this value, and now it should be, uh, it should play normally, okay? Yeah, and it goes back to the idle. You can also select idle to be looping uh, in our blueprint, okay? So now we need, we need Mm, to cast a spell so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna add a Niagara particle system I'm gonna call it buff I'm gonna drag it here and mm, whenever I press Z I wanna I'll go for the sequence so I want one part of the sequence to do this and the other one will do will activate the particle system. So I need a delay. And we're gonna figure out delay in a second. Um, I'm gonna select this Niagara particle system and untick this. 
so it's not gonna start straight away and now I'm gonna just say in here activate okay so just drag this node find this node and uh, plug your particle system in here so let's try to figure out what's our delay and this should be quite easy so basically when we want to cast a spell and we want to cast a spell around here so that's point four zero uh, so I'm gonna put point four here and then we need to deactivate it as well so I'm gonna add another part of the sequence I'm gonna add delay and we're gonna um, deactivate um, so now let's figure out what's the delay and I wanna deactivate particle system somewhere around here so that would be 2.3 and mainly because I want this time for particle to die off so they won't be on the screen constantly okay so now I'm gonna plug in my particle system here it's called disk buff and now let's try to see if that works so I did press Z but it froze for a second I think it does that for the first time always okay so it does work but the particle system it's in some you know weird location so I'm just gonna click on it in the blueprint and as you can see it spawned in the middle of the character so I need to lower it down maybe somewhere around here Okay, so I think that looks a lot better. So now maybe let's try work on the environment. So I'm gonna navigate to Paragon Terra. Or maybe not, maybe props instead. Monolith, ruins, and meshes. And I'm gonna look for the disk platform. I'm gonna zero location on X and Y and put maybe 2.5 scale on those two axes. I'm gonna lower it down a bit and I want it to be a little bit closer to the ground so I'm gonna change um, scale on the Z axis to something like 0.3 maybe and move it up a bit let's see if that works okay nothing is clipping so that's pretty good and maybe feel free to drag any rocks and there as well but I'm just gonna go to Agora rocks meshes oh maybe not Agora maybe something else let's try maybe uh, Agora props on their meshes and we've got some nice rocks here so I'm just gonna drag this one and zero it on both axes and just move it back a little bit I'm gonna save the scene, press play and just test if everything works. So it's a small little scene where you can uh, demonstrate your VRFX um, with some environment as a background as well. And um, yeah, this will be like a, our bath or healing or channeling spell. Feel free to change the values under your montage so maybe you want to channel spare for a bit longer or maybe you just want to have an impact so you can just uh, use the animation on its own and maybe in the next video we're gonna investigate how to do any sword slashes um, maybe we will do screen shake i'm not sure yet uh, feel free to comment it what would you like to see next for this series okay i hope you learned something uh, in the, from this video um, so see you in the next one.